what Tantra and Taoism helps you really be able to work with your energy and your emotions to create this massive impact in your life. Emotions are just energy in motion. So mm -hmm. when you start to master your energy, you start to have more mastery over your emotions. Like for me, I, before Tantra, I used to be really quick to get angry because I had some still inner child wounding and some things that were happening and it would pop up and I could lose my temper really fast. I'm a Scorpio, like that stinger would come out, watch out. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm like very chill, like I hardly get free. I'm just such a chill person now because I know how to balance that and have that mastery over my energy and my emotions. So mm -hmm. in our modern world too, we're so can program to operate from the neck up. How much do we think? How many facts can we remember? And we're really disconnected from our bodies. Hmm. I was thinking about how we will say, you know, men that can dance are better lovers, right? Mm -hmm. But I, I think mo most of that is that if you're able to dance, you have a better mind-body connection. If you're an athlete and you have a really good mind-body connection, like being able to have that connection is so important in being a better lover. But when we're so disconnected and we just operate from up here and we're really kind of numb and disconnected or feel shame about our bodies, that's when, you know, our, our, our lovemaking gets to be disconnected too. So just having that connection within your body is so important and just bringing all of you on board, all of your aliveness mm -hmm. and charging yourself up and allowing energy, um, sexual energy and pleasure to be something that charges you up and expand your life force and not something that's always constantly draining. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, the emotions are such a beautiful part of it and how it all relates together and with so many people being so caught up in their heads and it's like emotions are an inconvenience that need to be like compartmentalized so we can keep doing all of the things that we need to do, mm -hmm. but they inevitably come out in one way or another. It can either be those blow ups those nervous breakdowns or even different health issues like they are going to come up and so when we can have that relationship with them and with our bodies allow them to to feel them to experience them and then they flow through they pass that energy alchemizes and there's so much more that we can play around with and be able to experience from that and it's yeah another one of the great parts of that ripple effect of Tantra and of Taoism, being able to play around with our energy and our emotions. And that goes right in line with what I shared with in yesterday's episode is how one of my biggest takeaways in doing this work is that extreme presence that I now am able to have in really relishing in all of those simple, everyday, beautiful moments that are all around us, but so many of us are just closed off to them. And when you do this work with Tantra and Taoism and our subconscious programming, we are able to open ourselves up to them. And that goes right alongside with how we are able to really have presence with our energy and our emotions and build a good relationship with these things because our energy and our emotions are something that we all deal with all day every day yet many of us have what i might consider a toxic relationship with our energy and emotions we may completely avoid them repress them don't want to have anything to do with them we keep chugging along getting the things done that we need to get done and not taking time to acknowledge what our emotions and our energy are trying to tell us or on the flip side, we can also have a very dramatic relationship with our emotions and our energy and allow them to completely take over and to be quick to anger or to be able to fall in those negative, depressive, anxious thought spirals and all of these different things. And when we work with these different embodiment practices, when we work with Tantra and Taoism, we are able to cultivate a healthy relationship with our energy and our emotions we're able to bring that presence into them we give ourselves space to feel them to really get up close and personal with these different things learn from them see what they're trying to teach us 
and act accordingly. And that can mean all different things. We would love for you to experience the magic of our embodiment practices, which is why we're offering a 14-day free trial for you to try them out. Click the link in our show notes to view the Unapologetic Practices collection and reclaim your body, sexuality, and feminine essence. And I do want to bring awareness that anger is not inherently bad. I think it gets a bad rep that it's something many women completely avoid. They don't want to have anything to do with. They just want to keep things going. And that we can often see men who have a negative relationship to anger where it causes harm in different ways, or we might feel unsafe when we're around the presence of this intense anger. But anger itself isn't bad. And when we can learn to have a healthy relationship with it, we're able to learn from it because anger is actually passion. And it is showing us what is wrong, or what we really need to act on, what has hurt us in some sort of way or wronged us. And so it really is an important emotion. We just need to learn to have that healthy relationship with it. And that carries over to all of our different emotions and also how we are able to work with our energy body instead of being completely shut down and turned off from it, ignoring its existence really and continuing to numb ourselves out with things like screens or alcohol or weed or different substances and putting all this poison into our bodies when we are able to tap into our energy. It's actually this wealth of vitality that we can tap into and that's how I speak about how we can use our pleasure as nourishment what it is really doing is using our sexual energy as nourishment and I dive even more into this in the full unapologetic stories episode with Dominique DeVita in how we can use this sexual energy to recharge our batteries and to even open up our third eye open up our consciousness so This was such an incredible conversation. My tidbit takeaway for you here today is again with that same awareness thread from yesterday's episode is to really cultivate awareness around your emotions and your energy. I would probably say starting with your emotions and working with that energy is that next step up. But this is one of the biggest takeaways my clients have in working with me is how they're able to build this relationship with their body and their emotions and the impact this has. So as you carry on throughout your day and you notice yourself feeling certain emotions in one way or another, I invite you to just take a moment to be with it. Don't just push through to whatever you need to push through but acknowledge it, feel it, what sensations are associated with this emotion? Why is it coming up? What is something you can learn from it? And then acting accordingly. If we are really bothered by a request for having to do more and say we say yes to it and then we get completely overwhelmed because we have way too much on our plate and so we have this state of overwhelm, we might feel resentful, we might feel angry. So all of these things are telling us something that, you know what, we didn't uphold our boundaries. Next time, we need to uphold our boundaries and be willing to say no because saying no means saying yes to ourselves. And so that is my invitation for you is to just bring that awareness around your emotions and see what that brings you. So thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please share so we can bring these messages, bring this inspiration to more women around the world. If you do share on your stories, make sure to take me at Janine.McKinnon and you will be entered to win some pretty incredible prizes with the full bundle of everything we're giving away this week at valued at over $1,800. So thanks again. I will be back here tomorrow for another for another episode in our mini series Embrace Your Unapologetic Authenticity, and I also hope to see you at tomorrow's masterclass in embracing your unapologetic authenticity and celebrating season 3 with us. 
Until next time, take care. Thank you for joining us inside the Unapologetic with Janine McKinnon podcast. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you feel called, I would so appreciate it if you shared about this episode in your stories or left us a review to help us reach more women in their unapologetic authenticity journey. Until next time, trust your inner wisdom and make some magic.